chanteuse de Fela. Euh, J'ai joué le groupe en octobre. Coupe. Mon nom est Ibilola Pucherine Goga. Je suis chanteuse, ex-danseuse. J'ai joint le groupe en... On recommence. <rire> Mon nom est plus chéri Ibilola Ngoga. J'ai joint le groupe en octobre. Tu dis ton nom, ta maman mm. Ton nom Tu as joint le groupe de Fela. Mm. Mon nom est plus chéri Ibilola Ngoga. Je suis chanteuse de Fela, ex danseuse J'ai joint le groupe... Euh, en octobre 1983, alors qu'elle était en tournée en Europe, en France. Bon, Lié, combien de temps as-tu euh, Quel est mon âge euh, J'ai 23 ans. Né en janvier 1964. Bon, est-ce que tu te sens bien avec le groupe de Fela euh, euh, c'est une, une grande question. Comment dire Oui, je me sens bien parce que bon, il y a beaucoup de monde, il y a beaucoup de chaleur et comment dire Il y a beaucoup euh, d'activités et beaucoup d'animations. Mais euh, bon, euh, d'un autre côté, il euh, y a du bruit tout le temps. Mais je me sens bien. Avec les autres danseuses Oui, avec les autres danseuses, oui, ça va. Hein. Avec d'autres danseuses, d'autres chanteuses, ça va. Hein. Ce qu'il y a, ce qu'il faut que chacun de nous ait une attitude sérieuse par rapport à notre boulot, quoi, en fait. C'est ça la ligne de base. Mais que pensez-vous de Fela Ce que je pense de Fela, je pense que Fela, c'est le plus grand musicien, un génie. Et bon, politiquement parlant. Comment dire, l'influence. Tous les jeunes, quoi, de, cette, de ce pays. Et je pense que ce serait un bon président pour Nigeria. I'm an, an undergrad of University of Lagos and uh, I'm the acting coordinating secretary for the international movement. What about Fela, Fela's international movement? Okay, um, it, has, it has a long history. Actually, the international movement started as free fella movement, and it happened when fella was jailed. Um, as soon as it happened, most people, most Nigerian political scene watchers, actually knew what actually the government was up to and all that. So right from the 6th September 1984, with those who are avid fella admirers and watchers, I uh, knew that the government was actually out to clamp down on all progressive forces on the country. So as soon as he was arrested and jailed, um, we formed Free Fela Movement. So when we formed it, in fact, uh, there was massive support from France, um, America, where they organized Jericho and the rest. So it became Free 
Fela International Free Fela International Movement. Okay, now when Fela was released from jail, the name, in fact, basically when it was uh, Free Fela International Movement, the aim basically was just to achieve the release of Fela from prison. Period. So now, when um, Fela was released from prison, um, the name became sort of outdated because it was basically to seek the release of Fela, and now Fela has been released. So what becomes of the movement? Okay, members felt it should be, you know, concretized, you know, in the country. So we turn it into Fela International Movement, and uh, we use certain basics. In fact, you know, it's just an honor for Fela. But there are what the criteria why we use Fela's name to form the movement or to, to put on the movement is that we believe as of now, after Nkrumah, Fela is the most authentic Pan-Africanist on the continent. And he has been struggling, struggling you know, to better the lot of the common people in the continent and as such. I and mean, we quite identify with him. That's why we named the movement after him. In fact, uh, it's a mark of honor. That's why we named the movement after him. And uh, now, what the movement can do for Fela? Okay. Um, based on this question of what the movement can do for Fela, you know, actually will bring us to the aims and objectives of the movement. So briefly, these are the aims and objectives. One, to promote Fela's music and all progressive artists all over the world. Two, to fight for the total liberation of the African continent. Three, to mark important dates and historical moments in the annals of Africa. Three, the promotion of all burden artists Four, um, we use the movement to serve as a focus for the revival of the Pan-Africanist spirit, which we members believe has actually been dying ever since the overthrow of Nkrumah, Secretary, you know, I mean, when those progressive NASA and the rest left the scene. So we serve to use this movement to revive that spirit and that incorporates all the blacks in the diaspora that's why it's international so basically those these are the things we the movement are out to achieve and last but not the least we seek to cooperate with all progressive movements and bodies that ha that has likes so like tomorrow if we are called in into a medical field we we'll participate we'll cope participate, contribute our quota as it should be, you know. So that's, in short, that's the aims and objectives um, of the movement. Now to your specific question that what can the movement do? You say to help fella or do for fella? Okay, now, uh, members actually over the period have known that most of these problems fella has been having are actually not, you see, Fela has never been a cause of any police brutality and attack on him in his personal house. Actually, all this is have been done through only God knows who. You see, basically, as this interview is going on, I'm, 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 I'm surprised. Look, I'll tell you this, why we came in like that. Um, the owner of this car, LA2131KF, well, I, we understand he's a soldier. Just as we came in, came out with a gun, trying to attack Femi, simply because he believed the Femi is related to Fela, or is the PRO of Fela. So these are some of the intimidations which the, over the period the authorities have used to attack Fela unnecessarily. Okay, now, supposing Femi was not restrained in his reaction, like he fought the man. You see, they will leave Femi as it is and attack Fela. Well, whereas Fela is just not around the scene. 
So now we members, we, since we believe in that, what we reserve to do is that to advise everybody who is truly an admirer of Fela to try as much as possible to behave himself even under provocation. You could be slapped, but for the sake of the fact that you, you are closer to Fela, don't retaliate. Instead, let's go to the police station report. If they take it, okay. If they don't take it, well enough. And there are also some no, wrong notions, which over the years the authorities have been able to imprint in the minds of the gullible, illiterate Nigerian public. You no, know, some fantasies, things like fella. Mm, I mean, it's, I mean, negative things. Oh, which okay, I want to ask you one question again. What symbolizes Fela in mind of the young African boys? Okay, Fela, true and true, is an African. His words, his deeds, his behavior are all African. So the symbolism of Fela of today is that he gives the hope to the, the young African that Africa still has a hope, that all is not lost. So this the, the light in which I see him, because even the ordinary underwear, pants, fella wears is sewn by a black man. He doesn't wear already made and all that. In fact, these are you know, things which actually were encouraged the young African to look inwards so that if you know that, oh, look at this mega star, he doesn't even use imported clothes, materials. Then, why, who am I to use all these things? You know, psychologically, um, Fela, through his mute deeds, actions, thoughts, ideology, is really helping the African youth to look inwards to, into Mother Africa. Okay, thank you.